Hi everybody, um, Scrap Cheeky here, gonna share with you the latest travel log that I've been working on. Um, this is the one for Team uh, Tamara, sorry, and um, I received Finesse's book this week, this month, and this is the, the theme is, or the title is Games, Puzzles, and Brain Teasers, and I'm gonna share with you first off a couple of the initial questions I had, and I, I'm sharing it with, with the idea that um, perhaps somebody else that's working in the book might have the same questions, and, and I already um, messaged uh, Finesse with my questions, so maybe, I don't know, I just thought it might be helpful for somebody else in the group. And it, they might be stupid questions, I I don't know, I was, I guess I when I first got it I was a little stressed. <laughs> I was just not sure exactly what um, what I wanted to do, and, and I wanted to make sure that it was something that Finesse would like and I, I wanted just to make sure that I was doing something um, with the same idea in mind that that she initially created the book with uh, for so I'll share with you my my questions for her my husband said I was overthinking everything and after talking to finesse I really was <laughs> but I just I want to share it with you just so that you know it'll be easier because um, or maybe it might be easier for some people the next people that get it because there'll already be pages done but there was not a page done when I got it so I was a little, you know, I just wanted to make sure that I was going to make something that was was going to make her happy. So um, I first off asked her how she wanted to bind it because there's no, there was no, um, no, nothing in the instructions about how she was binding. And then I couldn't really exactly tell um, from the cover and, and, and stuff whether or not how she was going to bind it. So I asked her if she was going to bind it um, along this edge or along the top. She, um, her response was really she's so sweet she's just she's the sweetest little thing anyway she um was just like I, she wasn't exactly sure how she was gonna bind it she just wanted us to you know go ahead and have fun and not um, let her worry about the binding later what I did and it might be something that other people want to consider I left a little bit of space on the um along this side and then you could I guess she could possibly bind it on the top if she wanted to but the paper bags I don't know my paper bag is the flap is up, the opening is up at the top so I hope that doesn't throw anything off too badly but so that was the those are the questions that I had for her I also um, her instructions or her rules talk about um, how this book is about all about jokes and brain teasers and puzzles um, Sudoku crosswords etc um, competition sports party games break the ice all that kind of stuff so she just basically said you know complete the two-page spread with whatever inspires you no color theme no bulk restrictions um, just your creativity so that being said all of that being said I still was like well I don't know what I'm gonna, I don't know what to do so I just I asked her if it's supposed to be about a game that inspires us our favorite game or if we're supposed to actually make the layout into a game that you can play and she said all of those ideas were interesting so I I just went with a game that I my favorite game or a game that I like to play I guess um, it's actually something from my ch from my childhood um, and I'm, I'm just it is but when I when I first thought about you know games and stuff like that that was the first game this was the first game that came to my mind um, and the game is uh, Loteria and it is um, like a like bingo but different <laughs> a little bit different so it's like Mexican bingo it's played um, widely through throughout Mexico it was actually brought to Mexico by the Spaniards um, and instead of um, numbers they're actually pictures of things and the cantor or the person that calls out the the names actually has the cards and then so he'll say um you know el apache and if you have him on your card then you obviously cover him with a little um note the inner little dot or whatever um we i was reading in the stuff on wikipedia and it talks about how the game originally was something for <clears throat> for the upper class and, and like a hobby and things like that and then it became kind of popular with everybody else and everybody was playing it and it was um they would use like uh, little chip, little rocks or pebbles or stuff, and they actually, it even said in the Wikipedia that they would use beans, and I laughed, I had to laugh out loud about that, because we used to use little pinto beans, so I added a little, a couple of pinto beans on um, my layout for her, and um, I turned this side into a, into a pocket so I could add some tags, 
and each of the um, each of the little pictures, like so, you would you know he would the person the cantor would say you know la corona, and every single card, every single um, picture has like a little saying with it, and I can't remember all of them. My dad used to know quite a few of them, if not all of them, but like. So it would just be like a little saying, and this term it would be like, so this one is, is called El Caso, and then my dad would say, El Caso que me haces. That doesn't translate, so I'm sorry, but I, <laughs> I can't translate it for you. Anyway, um, so there's just like all these cool pictures, and just looking up photos and stuff like that. I, I was originally planning to get a actual board and put it on here, but it's a little bit wider than the paper bag, and I didn't want to lose um, the, the pictures, so I got one smaller I actually did it off the internet I got it off the internet and I you know got it to fit a little bit smaller I had to, I did end up having to cut off one row but anyway the the things are four by four so four uh, squares across and four squares down and it, it's a really cool game I I like it we have we always have lots of fun so anyway these are my little tags that I just kind of put stamped on and, and then added the little the little cards this is my favorite uh, La Chalupa is my favorite. I don't know why. I just think she's so pretty. And then she's got a little boat with... She's got her little boat filled with all these cool little flowers and food and stuff like that. So that's one of my favorites. And then I I remember that um, when I was younger, I used to think that the lucky, the lucky, quote unquote lucky card was either the one that had the um, Apache in the middle or the... the um, La araña, the, the spider, or el sol. I don't know why. That's just, I don't know, little kid stuff. I don't know why. But when I got when I got to pick my card, I always wanted it to have one of those three in the middle. Um, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so I put a lot of flowers, just bright colors. Um, I actually painted the paper bag, put gesso on it first, and then painted it um, with an Americana color. Okay, so the letters are from... Uh, American Crafts, the Thickers, and they're the little glittered ones. I actually think they're the exact same ones that Finesse used on her cover. <laughs> um, oh, we were supposed to fill out a little card. Sorry, I skipped that part. She's got a little bunch of little cards in here, and since my game was um, Loteria, I picked my favorite favorite of all of them, and that's La Rosa, and I just put my little information on the back, and um, I'm going to slide it in there. Um, let's see. So I just, these are, recollect, these are, oh wait, what are these? These are some, um, what is that stuff called? Oh, you guys know. Epoxy, I think? No, not, that's not epoxy. Oh. I don't know. Resin. There we go. Haha, -ha, I remembered. <laughs> Resin flowers that I purchased off of, um, this red one, anyway, is from something I purchased off of Etsy. And these uh, white one and the black ones are from just the ones that I made with the molds from um, the Mold Muse on um, Etsy. And I just um, add, used the polymer clay to make these ones. <clears throat> so, oh, I wanted to explain this. <laughs> I don't know why, but anyway, on this... Um, on these cards, there is one that's called La Sirena, which is the mermaid, and she does not have a blouse. <laughs> so I put, I strategically placed my pinto bean right there as though not to offend. I, I don't know how my parents let us play this, but we did, and <laughs> I, I don't think the, the set that I have now does not have her like that. <laughs> but I remember the one that when I was younger, it did. So I have strategically placed my... <laughs> My little pinto bean, so in case she was wondering about that, that's why. So the back, really simple, lots of lots of flowers. And I explained to her about um, picking um, this, the this particular game. And then on the inside, I'm going to put in there um, just a little, a little excerpt from Wikipedia about, about the game itself and how to play and all that stuff. And then I've... Oh, here it is, the little excerpt about how to play and what to do and where it came from and all that kind of stuff. So I put that on the back of this big tag, and then on the back I started to create um, just an, a um, cool little, like a, actually a, um, a carta so for her so that she could see that. And then I just added lots and lots of the little cards, little pictures, 
um, thought it was kind of cool. So hopefully, uh, Finesse, I hope you like it. I hope um, I went kind of with what you were thinking about. I'm not sure if I did. I, I had a lot of fun, and I am um, a little nervous about what everybody else does from here on out, because I'm going to be watching where this little thing goes. So hopefully everybody else makes videos, or at least takes pictures for me, because I'm going to be worried about whether or not I nailed this one or not. <laughs> so, anyway, that's the, um, the entry I made into her, her album, and, um, I'm excited about it. I really like the way it turned out. So I'll go ahead and this will be going off to, oh, I think it's Angelique. I'm not 100% sure. I think, yes, it is Angelique. So that's going off and it'll be uh, off this week. So I'm looking forward to the next um, travelogue that's my, coming my way. So thanks so much, Vanessa. This was a lot of, a lot, a lot of fun. I appreciate it. Thanks guys for watching.